Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 12 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of impenetrable proximal cap and a distal cap and bifurcation that was successfully treated using the retrograde approach. This is the case. The patient had an osteal right coronary artery CTO without significant disease in the left main system and retrograde filling via septal collaterals. So there's a clear proximal cap, however, it's a very long occlusion. The distal vessel is a good quality with the constitution of the distal bifurcation. And then there are septals from the LAD. So the plan was to try and degrade first, and then if things didn't work out, go retrograde. Unfortunately, undergrade, we had a very hard time advancing despite using multiple wires and we ended up switching into the retrograde approach. We did have easy crossing through a septal using the surfing technique into the posterior descending artery. This was uh, confirmed with injection from the left main. And then we were able to advance a Corsair microcatheter all the way to the distal cap. And uh, by doing an injection, we do see that the bifurcation of the distal cap is um, pretty hard to recanalize. There is no stump for the retrograde guide wire to enter. And that was indeed a very challenging area to start advancing retrograde. We used multiple wires, Pilot 200, Gaia 2nd and 3rd, but we could not enter past the bifurcation on the distal cap. We advanced our Corsair all the way to the bifurcation and did contrast ejection, the Carlino technique, trying to modify the distal cap. But unfortunately, all we're seeing is the contrast entering the posterior lateral. Then we tried undergrade again, given the lack of progress with the retrograde approach. We tried with the cross post catheter, Gaia first, second and third, as well as a Confianza Pro 12, but we could not cross undergrade either. We then switched once again for a Pro 12. Now this is going into a branch, so that was not a good course. Therefore, it was withdrawn. And eventually we were able to advance it through the distal cap into what appears to be the occlusion. We were then able to advance a pilot into a knuckle and push it retrograde and now it seems to be tracking the vessel. The vessel was quite tortuous and that's exactly one of the reasons for using the knuckle because the knuckle is more likely to negotiate the tortuosity whereas um, um, wires, especially stiff wires, are more likely to go straight and not target the tortuosity. So after several attempts we are able to advance a field XT wire past the mid um, RCA all the way to the proximal RCA and then eventually we're able to advance the loop all the way to the proximal cap. So effectively resolving the ambiguity and this helped us understand better why we had this difficulty undergrade. It is because there's a lot of tortuosity in the vessel and the initial course of the ride is to go up then go down and take multiple bends and turns. So now, by using the retrograde knuckle, we have clarified the ambiguity and we have a marking of the vessel course from the beginning all the way down to the distal cap. We did multiple undergrade attempts to get a wire into that dissection plane and eventually we were able to advance an undergrade knuckle that is now tracking the retrograde knuckle. We then advanced a guideliner catheter to the mid-RCA in an attempt to do the guideliner reverse scar technique. However, we were unsuccessful in the mid-RCA and we had to reposition the guideliner in the proximal RCA where we were able to advance the retrograde wire into the guideliner and now we have uh, successfully entered into the undergrade guide catheter. We switched for the R350 externalization wire and starting stenting from the distal RCA. You can see there's a dissection plane at the posterior lateral origin. There's still some flow into that after we place stents in the distal, mid and proximal right coronary artery. We did try to wire into that PL branch using a twin pass catheter. However, we were unsuccessful in doing that and we eventually uh, left it for now. And But we were able to achieve TM3 flow into the posterior descending artery. This case has several lessons. The first one is that retrograde approach can be an effective tool in cases of impenetrable proximal cap. The other one is that a bifurcation of the distal cap can be, can be very hard to navigate. 
The way this was solved in our case was by advancing a Confianza Pro 12 wire to start a dissection plane and then advancing a polymer jacketed wire, initially a Pilot 200 and then a Fielder XT that was knuckled all the way to the proximal cap that was the RCA Austin. Nevertheless, we still lost the side branch, the posterior lateral vessel, which remains a risk when there is a bifurcation on the distal cap. This can sometimes be recanalized with attempts, especially if we have not reached our contrast or radiation limit, but sometimes the side branch may have to remain occluded at least during this particular case and be left for a subsequent crossing attempt in the future. Thank you.